Hey everybody, uh, Brian from QuantLabs.net here. Um, I've already shown the ability of or capability of uh, Simulink, which is part of MATLAB, uh, the ability to take this model that's right in front of you, a simple moving average, being able to co-generate into C and C++. I already hinted towards in a previous video that you can do uh, V, sorry, HDL hardware description language which is um, uh, for FPGA and now for those that don't know FPGA it is the absolute lowest latency possible uh, for HFT for high frequency trading um, and as, as I said before I've already put up a video to show the kind of um, devices that are out there now that enable you to um, basically uh, to, to use communication between let's say an exchange and your set of servers through a private radio frequency network um, so watch that video um, but the core of, of, of the, the model will be generated through something like this what I'm about to show you um, this is the reason why I use Simulink and this is the reason why I use Simulink coder and HDL coder but ultimately end, at the end of it you want to uh, generate uh, FPGA um, so let me show you it so again this is a visual model with a, with a simple um, MATLAB function for the averaging and uh, let me just show you what we go through to create the uh, HDL code generation again this is again all what you're looking at is all within um, the Simulink so come under HDL code generation you have a pile of options now to get it to a point where you can actually uh, code generate into an HDL, be it um, the two option or languages are VHDL and Verilog. Um, so I've done both. Uh, I'll show you um, some sample code uh, for both uh, after this generate. But I, I want you to realize I'm fairly new at this, so I virtually have zero knowledge in uh, this sort of thing. It's not an easy setup. You're now dealing with uh, things no different than assembler. You need to understand the data types. So for instance, in the model you'll find uh, that all the data types uh, defined in, in the visual part here are all in double. Um, you need to convert those into fixed point to optimize the performance out of the uh, FPGA. Not only that, um, you have to run parallel models um, against this model, something called co-simulation, and that will enable you to try to optimize um, the the ability of the FPGA board to optimize so you have uh, as low latency as possible so and essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to um, basically uh, cut down the performance on your uh, way on how you calculate your al uh, your your algorithms or your, or your formula formulas and um, give you an example let's say you have uh, an algorithm that has a square root um, what t is typically done with a demo that I've seen is um, sometimes you may want to split the square root and take the absolute values of those uh, two um, numbers I guess I'm not a mathy person but it's just uh, you, you, you know you're looking for ways to optimize the performance of your algorithm from within MATLAB so that you can then test the performance of it when you uh, try to generate a parallel uh, new model for specifically for FPGA. Um, I've shown references where my membership can understand that a little better. Again, I'm new at it, but uh, that's just one step. The other step is the need to, uh, as I said, to be able to um, make sure that you're taking full advantage of the registers uh, in, in your, in your uh, FPGA circuitry, I guess. Um, and that's that's another step as well. Uh, <laughs> it goes on and on and on, um, but uh, it's not an easy process. But it, it can be done once you properly set it up. Um, you're good to go for your uh, high frequency trading um, environment. So in essence, this is what a lot of uh, of the uh, larger uh, HFT trading operations do um, now. One thing is, uh, when you do run the code generation, uh, let me just show you that you just go generate here. 
um, and essentially what the code looks like is uh, in here um, yeah it's just under here what you'll find is the um, code okay so there's two like I said there's two versions the V file is a Verilog and the um, VHD file is the, the is the uh, VHDL so in essence what I'm showing here is um, uh, two different uh, cogeneration processes uh, so what I'm talking about here let's come under options uh, what well, you know, I, I, I did the VHDL one, and boom, I generated. Uh, and that's the VHDL files that, that I just showed under here. So you, the, this VHD and this VHD are from that uh, cogeneration process. Um, and then the other one is the Verilog, and those are the um, V files, okay? Now there's some extra files here. These two uh, are part of the Verilog. So let me just show you what the, the, the code looks like. So let's say if I'm have the VHD uh, file, this is for uh, VHDL. So let me just show what that looks like. Um, as you can see, if, you, if you've ever seen uh, Assembler, it's somewhat a little similar to it. Um, and it's things like this where you really got to optimize your performance. Uh, as you can see, it's real, double. These should be fixed point, these uh, definitions. Of course, everything comes down to ports, and that's how FPGA works. So that's the nice thing about um, Simulink, because you're working within the confines of Simulink, which is ultimately no different than an FPGA environment. Um, let me load up the other file here as well. So we got two VHDL files. Uh, and here's, again, looks like Assembler. You, you can keep the comments, which I did. Uh, from from the, the Simulink itself, or if there were any comments, um, so you can see that these are double type uh, double types, but they they should really be um, they should really be uh, uh, fixed point to optimize the, the FPGA. Okay, so that's the VHDL. Now let's take a look at the Verilog format. Um, now these two files again, I'm I'm really new at this, so. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my commentary in a second, but there, there's a mapping set of functions, it looks like. Um, and where's the other one? The VHDL. Uh, here. So, yeah, you define and you load up uh, the, I guess it's not the interpreter, maybe, the compiler within the VHDL board on your FPGA. Uh, that's what I'm assuming. Um, so let's take a look at uh, the the V file. Remember, this is uh, Verilog. Um, this one looks a little easier, but again, this is this is this is so similar to Assembler. In out on your register, what you're doing, blah 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 blah. Um, now I <laughs> I have no idea what this is. But this is what it looks like. Uh, totally different from C, as you can imagine. Um, but when I showed uh, a video on these devices um, for uh, communication between um, the uh, the, mo uh, the meters for smart smart water meter, this is what the code looks like when when they you, when you embed it on those um, FPGA boards to be able to in uh, interpret what's happening within those uh, devices that are reading the signal uh, the signals and the data coming in from the exchange. So that's what it looks like totally different from anything I'm sure that you've seen before one last file I didn't uh, check into was this uh, package file for the uh, VHDL now this is not the Verilog this is a VHDL okay so yeah so it's just defining some stuff packages and whatever but um, all in all that's FPGA and what it looks like so again that's coming out of the Simulink using the HDL coder very powerful um, if I was Mr. Moneybags, uh, I wouldn't even bother going through the C++ option because essentially what you're doing is you're streaming the data from your source, like no different than a news, uh, a data feed like IQ feed, streaming it in, and then you have your 
uh, model process that data and at the same time that model will then also um, do all your algorithm and calculations and then process and then turn around to make your trading decisions all within these uh, visual type of models and simulate. Um, I might show some other more um, detailed models, the visual ones, but for now I'm just showing you that it can be done. Uh, again, uh, if you haven't seen the other video uh, for the uh, cogeneration with a C++, um, if you haven't seen that I can show you that in a sec here. Uh, tools, cogeneration, options, Here's your C and C++ options and you just go build, off you go. And as I said earlier, you have your HDL uh, generate co-generation as well, what I just showed you earlier. All right, so that's pretty well it. Um, very powerful and um, yeah, that's what makes the membership now even more valuable. Talk to you later.